Okay, let's go E4 here. Let's just keep developing. Come on, Bishop C5. You can do it. You can do it. You can. Oh, what a letdown. This is why it's hard to get the Jerome. Good night. Three ninety-five D four ninety three coming. Ski ski free. I haven't heard that in a while. In a while, right? More like twenty years or something. Yeah. A ski free. If I can find a way, I'll, I'll do it for nostalgia at some point. If I can find it somewhere. Um, but yeah, okay, let's take the pawn. If takes, I just uh, win the queen because the king is pinned. If he castles, I take the juicer and I win. Um, and I win a rook. Let's go d4. Hit the queen, guard the knight. Very nice move. That flag does look. It looks like Egypt to me. Let's see. Am I right? It is Egypt. Good. Good. I'm right. Okay. Let's just go um, queen here. I'm just gonna take this pawn. What is the king statue? Oh, um, it's just a, I got first prize in, in this millionaire chess tournament in 2015. So I think you can see it says 2015 on the trophy. Um, it was just the grand grand prize for finishing first. Uh, he plays knight c6. Um, let's go knight c4 and hit the queen. Such a flag, such a flag. Here we go again, here we go again, oh my god. Go check. Whoa, okay, I go work. Do you want to hit the queen? It's from Purlington, so it costs a bit. Yeah, luckily I didn't have to buy it, but Purlington actually, I don't know. They charge a lot of money for their for their chess stuff, which I, it seems exorbitant to me. I don't know, but I, I don't know. To me, it seems exorbitant. I would not pay the amount of money they ask for a lot of their chess stuff, but that's just me. They'll probably get mad at me for saying that, but just how I feel. I'm gonna sack and then sack here and then go check. I guess I, t I mean, yeah, I guess I just check. Okay, resigns. Okay, let's play the Scandinavian. It's been working well. Okay, this guy's in a rush to move. Okay, that's not a good move. He's got double double isos here. Let's go back at the pawn on d4. Okay, it's a free juicer. Let's trade the queens. No, I don't know any expensive chess sets. Never have, never will. So knight seven just take. Thank you, Scum Fan, for the 500 bits. Thank you so much. Thank you to Votix for $3. Um, thank you to, uh, thank you to Kogitz again for the $5 and final wings for the three and chaotic governor for the 300 bits. Thank you so much. Uh, I'm just going to go back and make a check. Would I trade all the pieces if I was not up the material? No, I would not. Let's go here. I've got both night jumps. Yeah. Scandinavian is, uh, is just when you play queen takes D when you play D five, basically I'll move one. Good check and take.
Just gonna keep attacking B5, C5. There was no mate in one, no, but now I'm gonna get a checkmate. Good checkmate. Now the rating's starting to get pretty decent though. Now okay, whatever, I don't care. He's still he's still 1699, so I can gambit. Let's play the try to play a Fajero with here. No, rookie three there was uh rookie three there was king um king f4 and I would lose the knight on f5. Gonna go knight e6 next move. Um bishop c5, discover the queen. Actually, I'm gonna play h5, move g6 or g. Okay, but now I trapped his own bishop. If takes, I take. <laughs> Rook d5 is checkmate, yes. Rook d5 is checkmate, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I missed the <mate> in one. <laughs> yes, I missed the mate in one. Oh my gosh, chat knows everything. Chat knows it all. I know nothing at all about life. You take the pawn. I have other trophies from when I was really young, but like, I don't know, like the, the trophies that you win as a kid are just really, I don't know, they're, is it, what's the word, ostentatious? Not to use, not to use random like big words again, but the trophies you win when you're a kid at these tournaments, it's I think ostentatious is the word. Am I right or am I wrong? Is that the right word or is it the wrong word? This guy with his SAT words. Obnoxious works also, yeah, I, I agree. But the yeah, but basically you end up with these really ostentatious trophies that are like five feet tall when you win like a national championship. And it's just like I'm glad I don't have any of them because it's just like they're really there is just too much. It's just too much. Checkmate, let's keep going. Using words like ostentatious is ostentatious. Okay, okay, chat, okay. <laughs> Oh, my opponent's playing the uh, center counter now. Oh, let's, he's trying to play the Portuguese. Let's go C4 and Queen B3, maybe. Oh, yeah, no, I'll go D4. I'll give him his pawn back. Let's go C5. But yeah, the trophies you win at Nationals are like four feet tall. Um, and they're just, it's just too much. It's just way too much. Um, play H3. I'm going to go B4 and just H3 next move. Yeah, I saw Hans Trophy is nearly as big as him. Yeah, like the trophies you get when you win at Nationals are just, they're just like, it's like, I don't even know. I mean, I think it's a great ploy by the, by, by the organizers. Because like, if, if you have a, if, if your child, you know, if your son or your daughter is like, let's just say they're nine years old and they win this like gigantic five foot trophy, they're gonna be like, well, you know, mommy, daddy, I want to keep going and playing these chess tournaments. Like, come on, I want to win a trophy. So like, it's, it's a great sales pitch. Go knight d4 and hit the knight. Just take, and I can actually go f4 here and really just go for the kill. I get this fork threat, and I'm doing really, really well here. No, but chat, they can't they can't pay cash prizes for those terms because they, if they pay cash prizes, then then the problem is um then they don't make any money. That's why you have to have like you have to have the the very ostentatious 20 foot trophy um because the parents pay the money for the tournament, kids win the trophy, organizer makes the money because then you make money on the margin. Like it, that's just that's just pretty obvious. 
Because <laughs> I'd say if you pay out prize money, then you lose money. But you just have to make sure the pro the, the amount you charge is more... Um, the, the price you charge is more than like the amount it costs to make the gigantic trophy. It's like, it's it's great. It's genius. Let's go Queen G4. The old Gillette model. Give away the trophy, sell the blades. Yeah, of course, because the blades for razors cost like $20, $20 million. Let's go Knight C6 and hit the Queen, hit the Bishop. I've got the X-Ray for the checkmate. Thank you to Sinjin for the tier one. Thank you to Bad Bishops for the six months. Thank you so much. Thank you to Ake, also known as Kirby, for the two months. Thank you to Troy still for the three. My opponent here is trying to play some modified version of like a hillbilly attack, but I'm not going to fall for it. I just go e6 and h6. It's going to it four if he takes. I just take. And now I just win because I, I get the, uh, the double on the king and the rook. Yes, Chad, that's a real opening. There is a real opening called the hillbilly, the hillbilly attack. Um, just take the pawn and take the rook. Now I can check, but I think oh she's trying to she's trying to cheese me. I'm gonna go check in queen d4. I think hit the bishop. Yeah, it's in the caro con. Yeah, caro con. Oops. Let's go again. Whoa, it's a bit much. Now I got the gigantic bishop on f5. Great development here. Just take, bring the knights in. I want to get rid of this juice or bring the knight here at some point, so I should be doing pretty well. Let's go here, knight f5. Now, if he takes, I take, and I still hit the queen moves, he'd he lose the game. So I'll pre-move this. Now, if he takes, I can take here, and then I hit that. It's just... Again, I'm up I'm up by a juicer, so I might as well just trade off as much as I can. Just take and I take and I take. And we create the coat 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 hanger. Or we can create a fossil instead. Thank you to Hippo next door for the three months. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you. Let's try to get a Jerome. I want to get a Jerome here. Uh, I've got to play the exchange French. I'll still try to play the exchange French. I think I just go rookie 195 maybe. French is not a bad opening, but as a grandmaster trying to play it is um, just weird. It's like playing for a draw. Oh, I blundered. He doesn't see it, so I just take. 
So now what I do is I try to attack towards the king side, basically. Let's go here, knight of four. Knight g6 next move. Plays f5. I'm going to go knight of four, knight g6. I can take and go c4 also. Oops. That's a big oops. It's a very big oops. Let's consolidate my knight here. Let's trade the rooks. I'm up a juicer. I can trade. Okay, let's go here. Hit this one. Now I'm going to go here. Triple stack it on the E file. And then I just... Or, okay, let's go here. Queen G6. I can still double stack as well. I mean, Kasparov, he, he played later on. Chess had progressed more by the time that he became world champion, so he would win at his peak. So let's go rookie eight here. Um, and I just take. Okay, I just take. I have 97 maybe. If takes, I just take and I'm just winning. Yeah, I know my microphone is low, you guys. Once I go to LA and I do the new setup, um, I will, I will, I will fix all these issues, or I'll do my best to fix them. Let's let's put it that way. Um, since I'm going a couple of days at this point, I will do my best to fix them. Uh, five D chess, maybe tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow I'll do five D. I think I'll do it tomorrow or Sunday. One, one of the next two days. I don't know which day I'll do it, but I'll do it one of the next two days. Let's go E4 again. Let's go here. Oh, I should have gone Knight of 3. Let's go D4 here. Um, I just take the Knight C3. This guy looks like a serious competitor here. Okay, let's go H3. Thank you, Dr. Raw, for the Prime. No Bishop G4. I still have E5. Okay, I'm just going to attack him. Take with the knight. Knight e4, I have bishop g5. Let's go knight e4. Hit the queen. Okay, I guess I just trade in castle. Okay, let's keep going. Let's keep going with e4. Oh, let's keep going with queen h5. Someone said it's queen h5 disrespectful, so I'm totally going to keep playing queen h5 now. Um, it's a move. I'm just going to play d3, queen f3, and g4. Yeah, let's go queen f3 and storm, storm him. All aboard. I just create the connect 5, maybe. Try to keep create it. I don't know if I can, but I'm go I'm just gonna attack all in. Okay, who cares? I just keep going. Queen H5, disrespectful. I'd like to go F5, but it doesn't work here. Okay, I'm gonna play Knight C3 to hit the pawn, or hit the pawn on D5, I should say. 
take, I can take. Uh, let me play h6, hit the pawn. If g6, I have check and, and I mate him. take queen h5 just so disrespectful just so it's just so disrespectful just trade the queens uh let's go rook h2 here now i go here and i just take the pawn because the king is pinned queen h5 is disgusting my opponent plays that i will not hold back okay <laughs> abusing bronze players um these guys are better than bronze uh yes i have gotten form of checkmated uh one of the early terms i played um in newburg new york when i was about eight years old like i walked into form of checkmate let's go uh bishop d5 and take with the knight yeah, if you think a move is disrespectful, bad, then it's up to you to prove it. Also very true, yeah. Ah. Okay, let's keep going. I just take and go knight f3, knight g5, maybe. It's going to take, and I guess I go here. Yeah, let's go here, double, double stack, try to create the mate threat. Me. Okay, let's keep going. Okay, plays bishop c4. I think just takes and I'm gonna do something. Queen g5 and queen g2 is fine. I hit the knight if here. I just take and I hit the rook. Can you go here, here? This is right, because takes, I go queen g2. Whoa, this is some deep theory. Not trivial. If knight f7, I go knight f6, I think. Hit the bishop, he takes, I take. I just should be getting trapped here. Bishop g7, trap the knight. King f8. Should be winning. Now I'm just winning, yeah. Now it's all good. Just d5, c6. Trap the rook. No squares. Okay, I consolidate my connect three here. No way to break it. Let's go here, maybe knight e7, rook e8. Well, the line I was looking at, now I lost the bishop. Let's 
Just take. And take it with a rook and go rookie six. Okay, it goes knight g3. I go back. I just move my knight around. I should be just winning again. Let's go here. Let's just take. Okay, he's trying to go f5. I, I like it. I like his uh, approach. I hit all the pawns here, so I should be doing very well. Now I hit the pawn. King is getting sauced on the diags by my two snipers here, so it just wins. Um, I think I go here. Let's go here. Yeah, bishop g2 is coming. Rook a4, just winning. Sauce on the diags, yeah. The two snipers just dominate here. They just go straight down the board. Okay, let's keep going. Okay. Okay, 1781. Okay, let's keep... I don't really have a good gambit to play, so let's play a gambit. This is just a random garbage. I'm basically down a juicer here. I gave this up. I'm trying to attack on the queen side, maybe. Quick rapid development if I can get it. Thank you too. I won't sub with Twitch Prime for the Prime thing. It Cossack with the Prime thing. You Plurisk with the Prime as well. Thank you so much. I won't subscribe. I won't sub with Twitch Prime. That's a good one. Let's go C5, 97. Next move. Okay, I'm gonna play Queen B, try to attack, use these two open lanes to attack. Maybe Rook C8, maybe E6. I'm gonna go Rook C8 here, maybe D4 to hit the Knight at some point. I think I'm gonna go D4, because if takes, I just take. If Knight E4, I just trade. If Knight D1, I just go Bishop B7. Um, goes back, I guess I'll go here and trade. Okay, let's go uh, E5 here. Build a big base in the center. I really want to attack uh, if I can. I think I just keep rolling it because I, I guard everything. This should be the knock a gambit, right? Yeah. I guess I'll just... Oh, I meant to go E3, whatever. Okay, that's fine. Trade. Let's go knight e5 or c4. I'm gonna go c4. I'm I'm down a juicer, but he's got a very weak pawn and a very weak king as well. Go here, just hit the pawn, rook b8. Plays knight c4. Hmm. Okay, let's go rook e8 and guard. I just want to double it up. Hmm, that's a good move. I'm gonna go here. Try again to stack. I don't want to give him this fork of my queen and my rook. Because now this king's not on this square. When he goes in, I go I don't have the check. Uh, let's go here. If here I just go here. 
Okay, now I'm just gonna go for the sauce. Let's go knight g4 and rook f6. Just go all in. Knight e5 is also a threat. That don't concern me, dude. And knight e5 now as well. Okay, now I play knight e5. If he takes, I can fossilize him with the check and I gobble. If he goes back, I think I just double stack. Or I do this, I hit the pawn. I have this too. Just take. This must be checkmate, all right? Yeah, it's going to be game over. All right, let's keep going. Keep playing Scandinavian. Uh, not, I'm not in LA yet. I'll be in LA in about a week. Leaving in five days, I guess. Four or five days. Go here. E6, of course. Hillbilly opening change 30%. Okay, it takes. I just take back. I can also take with the king, maybe. I can't bring the wall to LA. Um, let's go here and take. I take with pawn and take. Wait, what? Okay, I gotta stop bishop b5 here, of course. Guess I didn't go bishop e4. I guess I go rook g8. I have bishop d5 also. I think I just... Um, I'm going to go rook g8. Let's go bishop d5 here. Let's go b5 and just trade. King d7, maybe rook c8, rook c2 coming. Let's go rook a5, rook d5. Just doing really, really well in this position. Maybe rook a2 is a threat, maybe b3. I guess I just go back, play a5, a4. Now he almost gets patented, patented ice skater. Not quite, but he still loses.
Okay, let's play e4. I want to get a hill billy in. Let's try to get a hill billy. I can't get the hill billy. So let's play knight f3. Okay, now we might get it. Come on, bishop c5, dude. Yeah, baby, let's go. Here comes the Jerome. Finally, yeah, I've been waiting for a while. Okay, I just take. Okay, Queen E7. I mean, I can trade and just win, probably. <laughs> Let me play Knight C3 here. I'm just gonna go F4. If he takes, I just castle and go G3. No, it's not the first Jerome Gambit. Okay, he goes King E8. I'm just going to castle. Maybe f5 and d4 look strong. Okay, let's just go d4. Just build a big center. Build a big base. I think I just go bishop e3. Consolidate. I have d5. I have f5. I just have to make sure I get the right, right pawn break. Thank you to I am fire for the gifted sub. Thank you as well for tier one. Thank you death by guava for the four months. Thank you NA uh, Escaliopus for the prime. Thank you to row three, 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 three with the prime. Okay. I'm going to go Bishop G five hit the knight, or I can play C four. Um, I'll just go here and Bishop H four. If G five, I just end peasant him. If he goes over, I take, if he goes over, he loses the, the juicer. Okay. Now I consolidate the pawns here. And now I think I can just drop back. Now I'm just going to keep on building the center of my board. Maybe E5 at some point. Oh, I gave him rookie seven. Oh, no. Oh, shoot. I just blundered. He misses it, thankfully. Okay, I just jump. Oh, but I blundered again. I just blundered right back into it. Okay, he doesn't do it. Okay. Whatever. Let's just go for it. Goes here, I go here, maybe. Oh, whoa. Okay, now I just win. Okay, good. Okay, I just take with the knight. If he moves, I fossilize him with the check, and I gobble the rook. Just take and just double stack. So I take, I fossilize the knight because I hit the rook. And this should just be game over. I'm up a bunch of juicers. Soy marinero. Capitan, soy capitan, soy capitan. Bamba, bamba. Thank you, Obsidian, for the Prime. Thank you, Troy Nello, with the two months. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Let's go here and make a queen. There we go. Play e4. Okay, let's keep going with queen h5. The double stack. Is he sponsored by Wendy's now? Let's go here, 92. They need a Ray Pull for the three months. Thank you so much, Ray Pull. Queen H5 is disrespectful. Disrespectful. I'm such a disrespectful person. So rude. So disrespectful. Let's go Queen E2. Yariba, yariba. Thank you, Sydney, for the prime. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you. Bamba. Now, close queen side so I get to attack in the center like bishop e3, rook d1. Can also go all in with f5, but I don't really want to. Bamba. Play h3, just queen e3. Queen e3. 
Sodium attack next, sure. Okay, so he wants to go d5. I'm going to sidestep this little annoying issue with my queen. I think to P dogs. One, two, three for the three months. Thank you so much. I'm going to go rookie one. Maybe e5 at the right moment. Maybe rook d1 and try to smash the central part. I think I have to go d4. Smash towards the king. Now he goes d5, which I think is a mistake. So I think I can play knight e5. Take and take. I'm just up a juicer now. He can't recapture because he loses. And go back. Not really very pretty. Um, I'm going to go back here. I, I should have gone forward probably. Okay, but now I go f5 because he still can't do anything because he gets sauced. He plays here. I go here and I fork. He goes here. I go here. I still hit the rook. Still hit 20 different things. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. So now you're going to get a good example of why he has a bad bishop. This bishop looks really awesome. It's like almost, it's like the half wooden shield, but the pawns prevent the backwards moves. So it's like the half wooden shield. But the problem is that after this, his bishop is just empty. There's nothing on any of these dark squares. Look at all these empty dark squares. So it's like the half shield is just like completely dead. There's just nothing it can attack. Now I'm going to go rook h1 and there should be just a forced win. Again, look at this bishop. Just there's nothing. It's just like it's just all completely empty. There's just nothing. It's just a bunch of empty squares and a pretty looking bishop that actually can't attack anything. I think he's gonna resign here or something I don't know okay now see the thing is I don't actually take the rook I just leave the sad Bishop here the Bishop still look at this just empty totally empty What is this? Some link? What is this? All right. Okay. Um, yeah. All right, you guys, I'm actually going to stop for now. Um, I might, I, I will add it um, probably at some point, but I'm going to stop for now because I'm going to be coming back later to stream. Um, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stop for right now. I'll be back at like 4.30. I just need to get a little bit of break, a little bit tired, need to get some food, take a short nap. Um, so I'm, I'm going to stop for right now. Uh, thank you.